Rhys James, the professional footballer for Chelsea and England, had his home targeted and has spoken out on Instagram and released CCTV. Irreplaceable items were taken from his property like his Champions League winner medal and recently his England runners-up medal when we just lost the Euros to Italy. You can see people approaching the gates of his home at 8.25 on CCTV and then looking for their way in. At this time, he was playing a match for Chelsea. The Champions League had just returned and they won 1-0. And this was around the time the game was going on. I don't know if they had an inside link or something or this is a setup because how do they know nobody was home? Just because Reese James is playing a match or well, possibly they assume that relatives or girlfriends are watching the game that he's at. But four men approached the property together. The images that have been released when it comes to a different angle on the camera are not that clear to identify people easily, but I guess Reese James putting out to this many people, they could probably brag or speak about it or be silly enough to try and sell the items they take, which was medals. He's obviously won the Champions League with Chelsea last season and just recently in the Euros is England, there was runners up and they were the items they had taken. How or what they are going to do with these, I have no idea. They all walk around different parts of the property and finally at a certain spot they find a way to get inside the property. Like I said before, these men waving around four torches, if somebody was home they'd have been scared to death. It could have been Reese James's girlfriend if she wasn't at Stamford Bridge on watching the game live. She could have been at home watching it and this would have been a dramatic experience for her which is way worse than anything that could happen. Four men to one girl would have been a crazy experience. They actually get inside the property at one point on the CCTV camera and on another clip you will see them leaving. The craziest thing about this is that they bring a car, so there was another person that brought the car, but they are dragging a huge and probably very heavy safe, which they probably think has got money, Rolexes, all stuff in it if they can't get into it at the property, but it's actually just got medals and stuff they can't really sell, so it's kind of a failed robbery in a way because they're not going to be able to sell anything they got. Obviously, they don't know that because it takes so much time to break open a safe if you haven't got the password or key. They probably want to get it home and then open it up and hope there's a lot of money in there. But shortly on this footage, you will see them teaming up to try get the safe further across the driveway and a car pulls in because it is probably so heavy to drag all the way to the car. But now that there's a car involved, that might be the thing to identify them. It probably is just a car they've taken from somewhere and got rid of, but they could track it to where it's gone to after this event. It might be where they live. He said on his Instagram on the evening of the 14th of September 2021 when I was playing for my club in the return of the Champions League a group of cowardly robbers broke in to my house. They managed to collectively lift a heavy safe containing some personal items of mine into their car. I never keep any jewellery of mine in a house so all that was contained in a safe were my Champions League winners medals and Super Cup winners medals and a runners up medal for the Euro 2020. These medals were one representing in Chelsea and England, honours that could never be taken away from me, whether or not I have the physical medals to prove it. Nevertheless, I'm appealing to all the Chelsea and England fans to help identify and turn these low-life individuals who will never be able to rest easy as the evidence is mounting against them. The police, my advisors in Chelsea FC and many others are all behind me as we have firm lead on who the perpetrators are. We are closing in on them and luckily no one was present during the break-in. I want to let all of you know I am safe and well. I I really do appreciate having a platform to tell you about my misfortune and I hope together we can catch these individuals and deliver justice where it's due. As you can see on the screen, these are the montage of the clips he's posted up of the CCTV of what happened, showing four suspects walking up his driveway of his home and shining torches into the property. They obviously knew he was at a game as well so no one would be home and he's now appealing on his Instagram to try to get help to find them. A lot of footballers and celebrities do get targeted when they're at games. I hope Reese James can get his stuff back because that is priceless stuff. Winning the Champions League with Chelsea, making history at such a young age, also being part of that England squad that did so well. They're priceless moments and the medals represent that. But I'll update you guys as this case goes on on what exactly happens. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and leave a like below as well. See you on the next one. Peace out. Champion! Thanks, boys. Thank you, boys. Lauren!